Hate is earned, listeners. Love is blind. Let's see what happens. Chris deserves a good woman, and I don't think that he should be with Johnny. She's literally so sketchy. I can't, like, I don't want to have this conversation talking about her. It's such a waste of breath. They're still talking about her. <laughs> The conversation is still happening. They are still talking about her. Like, I don't want to talk about it. I was just trying to look out for Chris, and I think she's like... Why do you care? Because he's a good guy. I got well, to know Well, he doesn't him. like you. No, he, we're fine. It's not like he... So, okay. Now, Stacy is, presumably, she said verbally that she doesn't want to talk about it anymore, which I get. I'd just be like, ah, oh, just, let's just, uh, you know, I feel the urge to talk about it, but I, I'm just done. I just don't want to get riled up again. Also, this is already explored territory. Let's just put it behind us. And then she says, why are you, why are you so interested? So I'm just wondering where that question comes from. You know, I think he's intoxicated even more. I think he's been progressively more intoxicated throughout the night. So he could just be intoxicatingly fixated, which can happen. And she is saying, what do you want to talk about? Is this part of that hypothesis about that Johnny is this ever-present specter over their relationship that is maybe identified as the reason why things aren't working between them because as he was originally with you know was yeah was originally wanting to be with with johnny and stacy was not even in the picture in izzy's mind for a while and then then she says well why and then he says well i'm just looking out for chris and yeah you, if you're in stacy's shoes you could say like well it sounds like he was hearing you and it, you've done your job, so why are we talking about it, though? <laughs> but instead, she says, it didn't look, I don't think he likes, what did she say? Why do you care? Because he's a good guy. I got well, to know Well, he doesn't him. like you. It, no, he, we're fine. It's not like he it didn't seem like you were fine when I walked in there. He doesn't like you. <laughs> and I'm thinking... Huh, oh, did she hear so? And uh, maybe she did, but I'm gonna take a guess and say that Stacy is basing that statement on a perception that she had when she walked in on his nonverbals, what the way that Chris looked, that because the way that Chris looks, it looks like to me anyway, that Chris likes everybody. Chris is uh, above it. The guy is impervious. He is way beyond the nonsense of what you guys are talking about. But who knows? Maybe Stacey knows something. I'm going to take a guess, though, she doesn't. And that she, so my goodness, that you would just say, um, he doesn't like you. Your, your friend, the friend that you think that likes you, that you like, that you're trying to, uh, he doesn't like you. What? Well, it, he just had a look on his face when I walked into the room when you, when you two were talking. You mean the one where I was telling him that his new love in his life is a piece of crap? the look on Chris's face tells you that he doesn't like me? <laughs> uh, uh, wow, I mean, the behavior on from Stacy. I, I don't know if I said this, but early, I think I might have, or maybe out of the pods, as we were coming out of the pods, I'm like, eh, everyone, but I say this every year. I say this every year, <laughs> don't I? Uh, uh, not every year, but every season, I, 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 I'll say, huh, everything seems fine. And then something always happens. So I, yeah, Stacy is astonishing me. Trying to look out and tell but him. why? You're trying to look out for him with Johnny? I was just trying to. Why? It has nothing to do with Johnny. It was just That's about. That's It was more so about him. Yeah, this appears to be a conversation about why are you so fixated on Johnny, Izzy? You know, tell me about that. And I, yeah, I think that is what they're talking about, which lends itself to that hypothesis of some sort regarding this triangle. But, you know, she says, why? You know, and he's like, well, because because of Chris and she's because of Johnny is like, let's rewind that because I think that says something. He says, no, it, 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 I'm just I'm just concerned about Chris. I, I don't I wouldn't care who he's with. I was just trying to look out and tell but him. Why? You're trying to look out for him with Johnny? Yeah, it, doesn't it look like that? Maybe it's obvious and I'm just catching on or something, but that Stacy is like, I think you're in love with Johnny. 
and I think I'm catching you or have, because we don't know what conversations they have off camera, but even if they didn't, it's possible that this has been a subtle thing that's been growing. It's also possible that Stacy is literally picking this up with Izzy in the same way that I was wondering. It's like, is Izzy in love with Johnny <laughs> or wondering about what happened there and is unaware of what's going on in his head and is acting out some sort of overcompensation of trying to reject her when he really wants to be with her? I don't know. <laughs> it wouldn't be unusual at least to have that question. And so Stacy's asking... I think that's what Stacy is. I think that's the the very not so subtle subtext. Yeah, I mean, and he was yeah. coming after you. So at this yeah. point, put on your best running shoes and run because they're crazy. It'll never work out. And if it does, great. I was torn at a point where I was just like, I've got to know Chris. He's not a wounded dog. He's I am. I know. Let me talk. I am. I felt. And I'm giving my opinion while you talk. <laughs> In the middle of your sentence, I just have opinions. Is it okay that I have my opinions? Yeah, in the middle of everything, whenever you're about to say something, I always have opinions that I will, I have opinions, is that okay? <laughs> I think that you're not really acknowledging the sensitive point to me that it's Johnny. And that it's your person. It bothers me. Okay, uh, uh, right, it's explicit, is that, that's what she's saying, right? She's. She's saying, uh, y'all have seen this scene before I did, right? Probably weeks ago. And so I'm sure you're just like, yeah, Kirk, that's what it is. That's what they're getting at. I don't care about Johnny. And you I know no, that. No, you don't. I saw you railing into her ass and I got so turned on. I appreciate our relationship. What? What? My dogs are barking because they can sense just how... I don't know, what was that? What did he say? Okay, I'm not gonna yuck anyone's yum. People can get turned on by lots of things as long as it doesn't harm anybody. But this one harms people. But what is it that turned him on? Is it, so to make it the best case scenario, I just really love it when when we're on the same page or I, I just get, I, I get turned on when you're fired up or I get turned on when you're fighting the good fights against, you know, you're fighting for justice. That turns me on. But the way he worded it, and also there's a possibility, is he, is he actually, I don't know what to say. Is he actually, was he actually turned on or is he just using that as a phrase of, I'm so in support of you attacking it it really is start it, okay so triangulation is a normal human process when there is tension between two people there is a tendency according to murray bowen who theorized this and then there's a lot of research demonstrating this and an observation demonstrating this he started to have these ideas in the 60s and 70s and he is within the field of psychotherapy and psychology under what we call systems theory or family therapy, marriage and family therapy, uh, relational therapy, and cybernetics is sometimes another time. We, we tend to think of cybernetics as being like Terminator. It, it has a, a prior meaning before it was adopted by you know sci-fi shows. Anyway, so with triangulation, the idea is, is that there's tension, either conflict or uncertainty, anxiety is the word that he used, but a better word is tension. And then there's a tendency to triangulate a third because when you have that triangle, it's much more stable. It's the, the two person system in tension is, is unstable. It's, it's, you know, something will fly out of control. There'll be too much conflict or too much tension, or there won't be a way to mitigate the tension in the moment. So a third, a very simple example is you have two people that don't know each other and they will triangulate the weather or they'll triangulate a local sports team. Like in Seattle, you'd be like, oh, uh, the weather today, it's you know just typical Seattle, it's raining, you know, it's a, and both agree because there's tension, you don't know each other, and so you scapegoat the weather, and it's a way to bond, and it brings these two people together. But the third is, is you know, is rejected. The weather doesn't really care, it doesn't have feelings, but 
So uh, that's just a simple example. Another example is you have a couple that is having a lot of tension and conflict and they'll triangulate a child by actually uh, focusing on the child and maybe even socializing the child to act out, to misbehave so that they can focus on the child and that will distract them from the tension here. There's harm to the child because the child is being overly focused on and also socialized to, to misbehave. They're being rewarded essentially while being punished. It's kind of weird. Anyway, the point is, is that that's another example, a very common example of triangulation. So for Izzy and Stacy, it's clear that there's tension of some sort. We don't know really what's going on in their hearts. If I was to take a guess, I would say that Stacy is generally disdainful of human beings because she hates herself and she was treated in a hateful way or she just does not have the feelings that she was hoping to have for Izzy but those feelings you know if I remember right in the pods you know she talked about when she was falling for Izzy well when she was making a choice to say yes when she, when she was proposed to that she didn't seem like super into it right the way she was talking she's like oh i'm so so surprised so she might have just been swept up in the moment and and then once the pods were over she returned to her normal self and she's like yeah that's right i'm i'm just not a i'm not a commitment sort of person and i need something different or it's definitely not this or something so i think it's possible that's what's going on for her and i think for izzy i think he feels that and is trying to stand up for himself but also i think he's scrambling to try to retain stacy it kind of looks that i think he's really trying to succumb and game the system to try to get her it you know kind of looks that way so you know there's tension there he feels hurt and she is hateful i don't know i don't or unsure something and so there's tension there and they seemingly have a, a, and this is has been shown they don't have a way to talk about it they don't have a way to relate or to know themselves or to regulate or something and so there's got to be some triangulated third and there's probably a number of triangulated thirds involved in this tension but for now right now it's johnny because johnny kind of came into their life in person and and so there's this focus and for izzy he might be focusing on johnny and my hypothesis is a way of trying to prove to stacy that uh, uh we are together he might even be purposely trying to say, hey, we have a common enemy. It's, you know, it's the Soviets in the United States against the Nazis. You know, we have this, this, we are now friends and we got to work together. And so that is, I, I need that to bond us right now. And then for Stacy, her motivation might be actually as a way to get out of this relationship. She wants out. I don't know. Maybe there are yes, yes at the altar. I'm sure you know by now because uh, the show has been over for a while, but I haven't seen that yet. And so for for Stacy, she might be looking to triangulate Johnny as an excuse to actually reject. She wants to, or part of her consciously wants to reject Izzy for whatever reason, for better, for worse. And she's now turning to Johnny as a way to... So at first, it's possible that Stacy was focusing on Johnny as a way to distract from the lack of feeling that she has for Izzy and you know at the party and you could imagine that Stacy would look at the way that Chris and Johnny were looking together and be reminded of of and maybe even Milton and Lydia right and for Stacy she's like reminded of just like oh there that's what a couple looks like and we're not I don't have that feeling and uh, you know I need to dispel this anxiety this this anger and maybe in real life she would have just ghosted Izzy at some point or broken up with him but she might feel like she has to go to the altar I feel I feel like there is some some kind of pressure there I don't know but anyway from the production but she's now saying uh you know so, so she's going after johnny just to distract her it's like ah, you know, i'm just angry at something i'm gonna I, I can't really face what's happening i'm gonna scapegoat uh johnny but then now it's possible that she's continuing to focus you know they're still focused she says i don't want to talk about johnny but she's continuing to talk about johnny so it's possible that the triangulation is there because she might be looking for a way out she might actually really dislike izzy for whatever reason and is using this triangulated third instead of going you know even if we just take this as uh, as on, on on the surface a more direct route to, for stacy would be so izzy the fact that you keep talking about johnny it hurts my feelings that would be the most direct route 
instead of you know this roundabout way of talking about it, this surface way of, of talking about it, this way uh, that has no identification with a hurt or a fear feeling. I don't know. Who knows? But we can use it as a jumping off point for us to talk about a known relational concept and a known systemic concept like triangulation. I don't care about Johnny. And you know I know that. you don't. I saw you railing into her ass and I got so turned on. I appreciate. <laughs> I don't know if that's edited uh, because they have different cameras, but her facial expression, I think, says a lot. And he's saying, now he's intoxicated, so, but I don't know that statement. Even if you're drunk, it's hard to imagine that isn't coming from somewhere. But anyway, so yeah, he's, I think he's, I think he's really just trying to drive home that uh, I don't want to be with Johnny. In fact, I was so sexually turned on by the fact that you were railing her. That proves that I don't want to be with Johnny. But let's continue talking about Johnny because I really just don't want Johnny to be a part of my life. But let's keep talking about Johnny. Our relationship so much. I appreciate you so much. I'm so glad that I trusted like my heart and my gut. It just continues to dig that grave. I mean, it, it's, uh, dost thou protest too much? He is just, no, 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 I, 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 I just desperately. Now, maybe he is being genuine and he's just trying to, no, 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 this, this is me actually being honest. And, you know, I could see that or I don't know. Yeah, I, I, my, hypo my, my top hypothesis for him is that whether he's in love with Stacy or not, he desperately wants to be with Stacy. And so he's, he's trying to do everything. And I remember there was that scene where he had first railed Johnny in that first conversation and then met up with Stacy and and he's like oh yeah I really I really let her have it he's like trying to he's reporting to his boss you know trying to get some approval or his mom or someone like you know are you proud of me like I really did you see me on the uh, I, I really you know hit the ball out of the park mommy did you see it I was so good I was such I'm such a good boy and Stacy was like, geez, you know, you you really worked up about this. And he's like, well, no, I just, you know, it was, it was really good, you know, that we really went after it. I mean, like, I'm, I was sticking up for you. And I, and in the moment, I had this thought that it felt like what he was looking for was for Stacy to go, oh, honey, thank you so much. I, I love you. Thank you for sticking up for I think that's all he wanted. And Stacy was... Uh, she's not that way, I think, one. And two, I think she was also just a little repulsed by something. I don't know. And at the time, I'm thinking, oh, Stacy must just be kind of over it. But then Stacy did even more stuff to Johnny. So you would think at the very least, given Johnny, given Stacy's extreme hatred and behavior towards Johnny, that in that moment, Stacy would have been like, oh, yeah, so good, good. You stuck it to her. Like, there's no joining right there's all these opportunities that stacy would naturally just be like oh yeah good okay we're on the same team thank you thank you for sticking up for me or yeah she deserves it she believes that to be true why wouldn't she offer that up in the moment yeah i'm sure you are looking at no, that no, no, and then no, looking no. at me i'm i'm sure glad and for me i'm no, getting more and more furious that. Like that i'm in the same boat as that the appreciation you're feeling for me now i don't want it to be elicited from looking at crazy. I want it to be just because. Okay. Is she saying that she wants that genuinely? Or is she just saying, you know, people, when they break up in their mind, they will look for excuses because the way she comes across, it just seems like, it seems like she, ha she hates Izzy, honestly, that she thinks that he is ridiculous, laughable, below her. She, there's no affection and maybe it's it's happens off camera but so it's hard to believe because when she says that if you just hear that you're thinking oh she's bidding for a direct piece of evidence that she is in a secure relationship what she's saying is i want evidence that you love me even when we're not fighting johnny <laughs> why do why does johnny have to come around to elicit this appreciation of relation it's basically what she's saying so much of the times like this where it gets hot and then conflict comes up and it's almost like you've run away from it to come to me as shelter where it's like I'm so glad I have you I'm just telling you what it feels like to me I want it to feel like that when you come in from work 
in this store right here. Okay, well, that sounds more believable. So she's giving some details. He comes home from work. She would like to feel that appreciation, okay? So, but I wonder what it looks like if we were a third person watching this. Does it look like Stacy is like open arms and, and like waiting and all these like bids of, hey, you know, trying to start up a conversation or a hug or something? And Izzy is all cold, you know, that vibe. Or are they both just coming home from work and worn out and they're not very romantic in that moment? And Stacy is framing that as him being neglecting or something. I don't know. What do you think? All right. Well, that's just for that episode. Everyone, please take care of yourself because you deserve it. You really, really do.